Okay, dude, so we're going to do another real quick one. It's going to be like two minutes long. Um, essentially, what we're going to do is show you how to run PowerShell scripts on your Windows system. Now, the reason that's important is because sometimes we need uh, to do stuff uh, kind of in the background of Windows. We need to do more powerful stuff than we can just necessarily do out of a command line terminal. Uh, and so we use what are called PS one files. I know it makes me think of PlayStation 1 and then my heart goes, oh, such good days. But they're called PS1. Just like you have .exe files or .bat .bat files, .bat files, we have .ps1 files. Now also, when you're installing some of this AI software, sometimes it will have in there a command that's calling to your PowerShell. Okay? And if you don't have it enabled for scripts, you're gonna run into some error okay so let's really quickly here I'm gonna show you what we're talking about we're going back to the ugly screen here okay now let's gonna pop this down let's say we need to go to PowerShell so we go over here and we start typing in power okay shell brings up this now I'm gonna click it right click it go run as administrator because most stuff you're gonna to want to do you gotta do as an administrator now notice it brings up this screen here and we have this error File F, so user blah 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 blah. It cannot be loaded. See the PS1 because running scripts is disabled, and we say to ourselves, self, what do I do? Because we don't know what the hell to do. Okay, it's really not that big a deal. So I'm gonna show you here. What we're gonna do? We're just gonna highlight this bad boy. Let's just copy it. Then we're gonna go over to uh, our browser. We're gonna go over to our best friend in the world here, ChatGPT. All we gotta do is paste this bad boy in there like that okay and it's going to come up and it's going to give us some stuff to run okay so it's going to say here's the three things that we can do now okay do, do, do. we're going to go ahead and let that roll down there so what we're going to do is we're going to grab uh let's see here with temporarily bypass Okay, so we're going to go ahead and grab this, okay? Now, let's go ahead and actually type in here. Let's actually type in here, set it for all scripts, okay? ChatGPT is, <laughs> I thought it was going to put it right out there. So here's what we're going to do. We want this one that says unrestricted. So we're just going to copy this. And what this allows us to do is when we run scripts from the internet or whatever, it's going to allow us to run it. Now, it's still going to prompt us. So it's not like you're just going to be downloading willy-nilly stuff, but it's going to allow us to do stuff. So we're just going to paste that in there. And we're going to hit that. And it says execution policy change. A yes to all. So we're just going to put A. Okay, and now it's done. Now if we close this out and we reopen our PowerShell, right-click it as administrator or whatever, you're going to notice that it's all working. Okay, that's important because sometimes, again, um, you might get an installer that wants to um, download Mini Conda for you or needs to, we want to, you have to download Chaco, right, which is a, a package installer for Windows, and it has to install it through the PowerShell. And if you're running the script and you don't have that in there, um, you'll get errors and you're scratching your head like a monkey going, I don't understand what happened. And, uh, but now you've got it set up, okay? So that's really easy. Just go to your Windows PowerShell. The error will be there the minute you open it up. Copy it, throw it into ChatGPT, ask for the unrestricted version, and then paste it in there. And yo, you done. Hit it out of the ballpark. Okay, we'll catch up with you later. You stay good, and as always, yo.